This is the Daily Market Comment at XM.com by Marios Hachikiriakos. I'm Christina Marujos. Market movements were relatively subdued on Monday. However, things became more interesting overnight after the White House and Democrats in Congress reached a deal to raise America's debt ceiling, raising federal spending allowances and reducing the likelihood of a government shutdown. The news put some wind back in the dollar sales as the risk of political gridlock subsided. Traders could also be scaling back some of their euro exposure ahead of what promises to be a dovish-sounding ECB this week, amplifying the dollar's gains. On the Fed side of the equation, markets still discount an approximately 20% probability for a double rate cut at the July 31st meeting. Therefore, the risks around euro-dollar seem tilted to the downside for now, as besides the prospect of Draghi talking down the euro on Thursday, The dollar may also have more room to recover as bets for aggressive Fed action in July are unwound. Moving into the UK now, where Boris Johnson is expected to become the next Prime Minister later today. He has been quite vocal that the UK is leaving the EU in October with or without a deal, which has inflicted considerable damage on the pound lately. This week, the cabinet ministers he chooses to surround himself with may prove crucial for sterling. In the bigger picture, the outlook for the British currency remains grim. There's very limited potential for meaningful Brexit progress by October. And outside of that, the only thing that may be able to turn the tide are signals for a general election. The Canadian dollar took a hit yesterday after some disappointing wholesale trade data raised concerns for a weaker GDP print in quarter two. Although this pullback may continue in the next days, especially if the US dollar advances further, the broader outlook for the loonie is still positive in an environment where the Bank of Canada remains unlikely to cut rates. This was today's Daily Market Comment. Thank you for watching us at XM.com.